Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Grey Gu Ba Huang Let's Play. So we are picking things back up in front of our own sect, and we're going to be doing something a little bit different for this episode, not that much different. Um, from the title, you probably can understand that we are going to be grinding here, and we have been cutting out most of the grinding uh, from this series, because it does get extremely tedious, and if you pay attention to the time, we're four years away from where we ended the last episode. And I'm trying to keep this series in a twice a week type of upload schedule because a bunch of you find this uh, Xianxia cultivation culture quite interesting. And I really enjoy playing the game too, so uh, there's a degree uh, in between here because if I grind way too much in between, it does wear on you. So we're going to grind together and I'm going to show you guys what a typical month is like for a cultivator who's stuck in the Huashen. Uh, stage and in this tier we have reached the final bottleneck we broke through it and we're approaching the point where we can ascend again uh, to Wudao and for us to do that we need to find three compatible Dao souls which we can hunt from those duality zones and once we get those we can merge them together into this one uh, Dao Hun right here and once we have that or basically have three compatible ones. Each one has three attributes. I assume you want the same ones, and I assume you want the ones related to your skill. Um, I'm still not entirely sure how uh, this will work out, but regardless, we'll get one of these, and... Huh. Anyways, this is beyond us. I will figure this out when we get there. It'll take us a while to get there. And then we also have to craft a medicine or dan for us to use uh, to ascend. And that's it. It's a very simple ascension this time. So I'm not too concerned about that. Once we get there, we'll get there. Before we get there, I want to set ourselves up so that we can actually um, have the right soul. Uh, so a lot of farming has been done. We have a variety of each of the color of the soul stones because you need these to re-roll the soul uh, type. And on top of that, um, we have been trying to increase our skills so that we can actually beat those duality zones without any issue. So we have changed up our skill a little bit. Our basic tag is now a more flower petal. You shoot out, out and it explodes and it gives the Hua Ling stack so that we can spawn little flowers on the field. I have rerolled this many, many times and you can see that most of it's orange. The skill is an orange skill. I didn't get a red one. Uh, because it's almost impossible for us to get red skills for Huashen at this point because the only way we can get those is randomly through fighting the bosses that spawn and that thing spawns like once every three years so it's fingers crossed for that. Um, orange is as best as we can have and we have re-rolled a, a lot of orange attributes to it and if you look at the re-roll actually perfect 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 near perfect near perfect near perfect near perfect so I'm very happy with it. Um, I have 600 something points. This can max out at 620, so I can get to about 680-ish. Each reroll of one of these skills is around 72 to 90 something, so technically I can guarantee maybe 7 attributes to roll back. So with only 2 out of 10 to improve, I don't think I'm going to be touching this ever again, just because I can't improve here. And to complement this, our special uh, basically straight up summons a little flower on the field and it will deal uh, immediate spread damage across the map so basically it'll shoot beams out I think like how many beams I actually forgot 12 plus 5 so 17 beams of damage out uh, it's okay uh, and once again we rerolled orange on most of this our movement skill is complete crap um, I can't even see it why, why can't I check this out there we go yeah um, it's complete crap. I haven't even upgraded it up. I want to replace it, but that really depends on what we can get back in our sect. Uh, every half year, there's one reroll. I've been looking for the past eight rerolls and haven't found anything, so tough luck there. And our alt is really bad because it doesn't synchronize well with what we're doing, so I haven't even mastered a single thing. I can still spawn it because I can still get um, basically poison damage to kill enemies because I have a passive that spawns a 
puddle of poison. This one. This is the only wood style passive I have. It's a pretty good one. Um, but it's not like we haven't been collecting uh, these books. Actually, this one, let's reroll it. I feel like, yeah, actually, looking at it, let's get this. See, there goes five days in a month. And then rerolling doesn't cost any time. Oh, wow. Wow. This is what? This is an orange skill, right? And this is our reroll result? They change color of the text, but the bonus is still the same. 1.10. One one oh. um, obviously going to return this one. 96 It's how much to reroll that. That's that's bad. Everything else improved a little bit. We can reroll again. I've been farming a ton of material, so we'll be fine. Are you serious? Okay, that, that got worse. That got worse. That got better. There we go. We want more orange. That got worse. That, that's the same with a different color text. That's the same with a different color text. Alright, near perfect. Get the purple. Keep the purple. Keep the purple. These are the same. But because we have so many points, it's actually not that bad, right? We can reel a bunch of times. See, that's finally not one anymore. Ah, there we go, near perfect. So this is the one that's giving us the poison damage. Um, whenever something we summon dies, it will leave a puddle that does poison damage, which is quite nice. All right, we're keeping this, we're keeping this, keeping that. This one just doesn't reroll. Every point of wood talent, our summoning creature gets increased health. This could become really good, but it's not giving it to us, so I think this is all the improvements. Yes. All right, did get better, so that was pretty good, and they didn't waste a lot of time. And uh, what we are basically doing is hunting down these um, little dungeons, and we're gonna showcase our new skill sets here because we have a different passive and a basic attack and a. Uh, Special attack. So here's our special attack. We summon a little flower. It shoots those beams in all directions. And our, so you see that our basic is shooting this uh, lotus petal out and it explodes at the end of the mouse cursor. I like it because the range is good uh, versus the others that we were using. And of course, we still have the dragon soul blessing. So like every third special, the dragon will fly by like, like in one second. Hold on, like this and deal massive damage. Now ideally we get the ultimate where each flower when they die, uh, they leave behind a soul. And then once we have five souls on the field, we can summon a giant flower to help us. Right now we kind of have this like Venus flytrapper thing that shows up and bites enemies. But the key build I think for wood style as a whole is just have your creatures tank up the damage while you do damage from afar. And that's kind of the spirit of things. I don't think it's that strong. I think there was a there was a developer survey in the game. We're asking you which uh, element needs a buff. And I think the wood style definitely needs a buff. It's really good against uh, uh, other cultivators because it's like a one-on-one -on -one fight and they just pretty much only focus on your pets and uh, you can just murder them. Yeah, we do decent amount of damage. You can see the Night Elf Fox is dying rather rapidly. And for our special, if you place it under their feet, like all the extra 17 beams can hit them and it does quite a bit of damage as well. Yeah, that was pretty easy. That's the easy part of our month. Now we go back to our sect and return the mission, get paid by our tribute. Now, some of you notice that every year during January, we lose a bunch of tribute points. I mean, it's... I mean, sometimes we don't have tribute point to lose because I spend it all. But basically the idea is our sect is an evil sect and we are a righteous individual. So our sect punishes us with tributes every year if we stay righteous. It's kind of a choice you have to kind of decide when you join a sect. Uh, but we're fine. As long as we spend 
all our tribute at the end of the uh, year. We're, we're totally fine. There's nothing to pay if we don't have any. And we buy the last one of the year. Um, this is pretty much our daily routine. We come in, we buy our wood fruits uh, to strengthen ourselves. And there's a mission that month. We do the mission. And we look at books every six months to see if there's an orange book in the wood style that we can buy. In this case, no. So we save it up for potentially next, uh, well, four months away from that. And we are collecting books whenever we can in the auction house for the next tier. And they only sell stuff for the next tier. So I've been buying up good stuff for the future. In case, like once we do rank up, it's just unfortunate ranking up is taking us a while. All right, so now we have what 20 days left in the month. What do we do? Well, we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna chug meds and then we're gonna find one of these zones. So this one's fine. They did a pretty good job of updating the game where each of the zones it now have randomized enemies and randomized bosses. So there's actually a quite a bit of variety to them. And currently when I farm these, I don't actually care what I roll for the soul because I'm selling the soul because I need money to buy fruits from previous zones because you can go back to their zones if I have stats that's below uh, 350 like say fist is below 350 palm is below 350 you can go to sex where they have friends with you and you can buy it at a very high price a couple thousand per fruit but because in the previous zone, a couple thousand is not a lot of money. Each of these Dao souls we can auction off for over 500,000. I've been just chugging, you know, fruits from every single sec and trying to get everything above 350 and then get our main one above to 620. Our med herb is 620 already. Our feng shui is 620 already. Our Dao is 620. Uh, our Dun, uh, crafting medicine is 620 already. We've been grinding a lot, as you can tell. And uh, the good thing about these duality zones is you actually don't need to waste any time. I can stand here and do a bunch of these in a row, assuming I have the meds and health to do it. And I do, so... We're just gonna kill these. And as someone pointed out a few episodes ago, they tell you how many enemies remain on the top of the screen. I just never paid attention to it. So there's like 14 common and two um, slightly boss, mini boss left. Alright, and it's pretty easy to deal with. So we farm a lot of materials as well, reroll materials too. And over here, my policy right now is don't reroll anything because I'm just collecting stones. I need to find where it has the light one. I, I do more of those. Uh, but this one is a uh, palm and sword. Palm is green, sword, I believe it's red you can tell by the colors when you enter and you'll get those stones here uh, but you want maximum of three different types to get a hundred percent they also modify this where like it's no longer about purity it's just about like percentage of getting a soul so like sometimes if you have like 60 percent you end up with not getting a soul and you just waste your time grinding so you would want to spend some reroll in that case but right now we don't know what we want to reroll because I don't know which one has a lot of because you just want three types. So I tend to reroll near the end. Alright, first we farm them. And they, they changed up the bosses as I mentioned. So it's actually a nice variety of uh, things you have to fight. And the bosses are hard. Like, we're decently strong, but without like a good synchronized ult and synchronized um, passive it does get a bit difficult at the end. And there are times where I had to summon the chicken boss when we dropped below 30% health, and he helped us basically win. And at this point, we're pretty much playing a summoning type. And the rooms here, first two room is basically a mixed dungeon, a lot of common creatures, a lot of boss creatures. And then the third room is a mini giant creature, fourth room is always a cultivator, and the fifth room is the final boss, and that boss is randomized. So here we got spear, palm, palm, fire. So palm we're definitely not re-rolling because we got two of them now, depending on what we get here. So once we get a better picture of what things look like, we'll decide what to re-roll. I'm going to summon the big flower. It's going to take a bite out of the enemy. And just because you kill the boss with the means over, you're going to kill all the mob as well. 
That's quite simple. And I might take a chance to uh, chow down some pills. It, it It is quite difficult even for our, well, especially for our build. I don't consider us that strong. We're relying on pills and the fact that we can maybe poop them out really cuts expense. Only put out two. I got finger, I got sword, a uh, blade. So now it's dropped to 60. So we gotta think about reroll now. This is like, I don't think we'll get a finger again. Blade is kind of the main attribute here. Oh, got finger again? Wind. It's not much better. And I don't wanna reroll this. Oh, that's really bad. Um, And every three reroll, the price doubles. So things are looking pretty bad. Let's see what the last two are before we uh, commit any more. And the, the price resets. So the fact that you know we look at it again after this room is going to be cheaper. And this is one of the easiest room with a culturator. Humans are so fragile. Okay, we got double blaze. So I don't have to touch that again. I got this fist here that I don't need. Ah, oh, finger would have been... Okay, so let's try to reroll this. Okay, blade. That's good. So what's extra? Finger is kind of extra, water is kind of extra, even this is kind of extra. All of these three, black is the one I have the most of. Lightning? I don't have a lot of purple. I'm going to spend 10 of these. Oh dear, it's getting worse and worse. I do have a lot of yellow. Fist. Come on, something else. More fist. Okay. Maybe we won't end up with a Dao Soul. So it looks like it's a Nightel Fox skin, but I promise you it's randomized. We'll come back here, grind again, and then see a different boss. Because I have a feeling we're not going to get Soul here. Use your pet to block the hearts for you. Summon the big pet. I didn't fight her. Your main DPS tool is still your basic, actually. Your basic is really strong. Alright, basically it refreshes the cost to reroll, and we can maybe get rid of that. Ooh, okay, Palm Palm, that's 80% now, it's much more respectable. If we can get rid of this, then it can be 100%. Ah, fire. I mean, we have 900 red, might as well try to reroll the blade. No, come on, we're gambling here. Uh, I don't want to pay the 10, I'll take the 80%. We got it, so that's good. We didn't waste that time. Uh, we picked up a lot of red ones. And we got this, and we also get uh, fruit. So this this type of farming is actually really good for your growth, but super grindy. Uh, there's no cooldown on these zones. You can just step right back in, assuming you have the health to do that. All you need to do is really just pump yourself full of meds. Like do drugs and uh, tackle dungeons. So we're just going to hop right back in, just to see a different boss. Summon something for them to hit. So aside from the ones we summon, these get spawned based on our quadding stacks. There's a set percentage to spawn you once, based on your farming. The difference is the one that we spawn with our special will shoot those beams out when he gets summoned like these. Whereas the one that automatically spawns just shoots one beam. And I believe these also shoot three per attack. Alright, no reroll, we're just gonna wait till the end. But we got two red, but that doesn't mean the same element. One of them was a blade and one of them was a fire, which is actually pretty tricky now. Die tree, die. Yeah, these poison puddles are friendly. They spawn when our flowers die from the passive that we have, which is how we trigger enough points for our ult. As you can see, our ult is now active. Okay, we can use it now. I'm gonna save it for probably the cultivator room. I 
for the final boss. Actually, we can do it in the third room. That way it's up again for the final boss. I can't step on the purple yet. They do damage. Oh, come on. Ooh. I know I'm probably gonna want to reroll that, but until we know two more, I'm not gonna do any reroll. That that's not fair. I should just wait in. Alright, let's use the big flower. Should make this room quite Oh, why did we step in that? Come on. Ah, oh, this, this is just bad. All sorts of stuff. Anyways. Um, I'm still going to wait for more, because now it's, it's still pretty unclear what's the one that's kind of out of place. Ooh, go invisible. Don't want to take that damage. We can actually heal up a little bit. Hopefully we can get the pills back. Better eating them inside than outside, assuming we have enough, you know, mental fortitude to eat them. Poop them out, poop them out. Oh, once again, a few of them will not come out. Okay, fire, palm. So we keep palm, right? That's the decision we're waiting for. And then we're going to reroll these. Oh, right. Great reroll. Back to water. Oh my god. Yeah, so the awkward thing is we don't want to spend the white ones because I don't have a lot of it. <sighs> well, this is going to be a 60% roll, I guess. I mean, let's spend one. There we go. 80%. I can live with that. There's still one more room. See? A different boss. This guy uses uh, brawn turns and smashes down to the ground. He hurts. Oh, they all hurt. And the urn can shoot projectiles. And there's acid rain as well. They updated the game with so many different bosses. I see at least four different ones. Some stronger than others. I can I can't pop into this yet, the room is done. Come on. We can just go farm for more white ones. <sighs> Spear? No. Come on, I want 100%. <sighs> okay, at a certain point we give up. It's not happening. <laughs> uh, we give up. It's not happening. See, we failed. 80% failure. So that entire grind, we get no soul. That's why we want to reroll. All right, so we got some green one, we got some red one. That's what this zone is. We're gonna find one of those white zones and do that because we need preferably white and purple. Actually, I think they should have one like that. Gotta look on the map. That's white and green. Oh, the storyline, right? Uh, Kwa Fu chasing the sun. He's getting tired right here. That's a storyline we'll pick up. So for this episode, you're grinding with me. Next episode, there's two storylines that we'll be doing. One is the Quafu storyline. The other is there's a new storyline that was added into the game. Oh, white and black. We'll come here and do that. Uh, well, I'll come here and do that when we're grinding. I think that, that's probably the best combo here. It's not that many zones. White and purple. Okay, there we go. That's the one I really want to come to. DM and okay. Right, so we do have a new storyline. Uh, it's Yugong Yuan, which is Yugong, if you remember, is the elderly gentleman who wanted to move the mountains in the first zone. Well, there is a girl who approached us. Um, she is his granddaughter, I believe. Gave us this uh, whale, basically, uh, Im invitation to attend his funeral. So that's a new storyline entirely, and that's going to bring us all the way back to the starting zone. And there should be something going on there. And I think this is probably what we will pick up first at the beginning of the next episode. Wow. 
yeah, back to Yuzhun before we even exit this first zone. It's kind of crazy. Uh, it's been a long journey. Anyways, we're not going to just stand here and grind this anymore. I think we'll actually go talk to Kwa Fu right now since he is the quest in this area that we haven't done. We met him already. We know that he's trying to chase the sun. But now something else has developed. Or oh, maybe we actually we'll heal up if there's a fight. Ah, Kwa, you're here. Ah, it's you, little guy. Right, he's a giant. And we're trying to get him to help us move mountains. He says, the ground here is hot and burnt. Um, the palm of my feet feels like they're burning. If you are skilled at avoiding heat, maybe you can help me take a look around to see what's causing this. If I had time, I would have investigated myself, but the sun does not wait for me. But the ground is so hot, I can't move on, so I'll help him. But there's something here causing the ground to be so hot. So hurry up, the sun's about to leave the horizon. So he's, he's just rushing us now, there's a cave. There's gonna be a fight. Yep, there's a big cave. Uh, the soil is a little bit wet, so let's go take a look inside. Oh, I can't heal beforehand. This is one of the new creatures, right? It's a, I don't know what this is. I mean, it, it's, I'll describe it as a floating minotaur thing with a very uh, scantily dressed lady on top. It shoots red warbs out. I fought this ready. This is potential, not this battle, but uh, this is a randomized boss for one of the zones. And uh, she's strong. Uh, this is a word that I don't know how to pronounce. Um, so like, it's probably Chime Wang Liang Li, one of those words, but I don't know exactly what, what word this is. Who are you? Why are you in my home, basically? So we know this is a legendary Han. So basically, it causes droughts. What should we do? Attack it, run away, or try to ask it to leave. I mean, can you leave? She's like, even though I am a creature, right? I'm not I'm not human. We are we absorb the natural energies to cultivate just like humans, but I've never messed with you. If you want me to move just by asking, you think I'm basically you think I'm weak? Like, but you're causing issues in the land above. Like, that's the natural way, not my wish. If you want to force me to go, then so basically we have to fight her. Oh no, she wants something. Wu Feng Cao. Okay, how do we get one of those? Oh my god. We need cash! It's gonna be in the auction house 10 months from now. Okay, this is awkward. So, I'm actually short on cash right now. Very short. I had like one extra digit before. Huh. And the reason why we're short on cash is because I've been spending it buying fruits. But we have 10 months, which is a lot of time to get money. And the easiest way to get money is to sell the souls that you have. But the fastest way to get a lot of money is to sell the souls in the auction house. You sell for more than double. Like, I'm asking for 500k starting price. It will sell closer to 700. But if I go to the market, each one, I do have a, I think I have at least one, right? We, we did farm one. No? Oh, right here. Each one only sells for 250k. So we're getting like a third of the price. But because I'm gonna need money to actually buy what she needs from the auction house instead of fighting her. Of course we could just fight her, but if we could do it politely, we'll do it politely. Okay, so I think that's gonna do it for our episode here. Uh, we kind of explored a storyline and then showed you guys what I've been doing for the past four years. It's really sad, but yep, it's gonna continue this way. Oh yeah, the, the good news is like every time we skip over a month, our friends come talk to us new girls come ask us out for a date and then what we do during dates is three um 
dual cultivate, basically get 30 day worth of things done within 5 days. And that's how we've been leveling up. So it takes a long time to level up, but we've been doing it with mostly dual cultivate, uh, which is beneficial for both. Oh, he wants to fight us. He's an entire tier higher. So this is a good chance to showcase whether we can beat a higher tier cultivator with our build because we can force them to fight our spawns. But I fought him before. This guy is nuts. This guy is too strong. Like, look, that one punch. He basically can kill our pets in a few punches. That, that way, that's so I can't touch him. He's gonna kill us. It's okay. You're a whole tier higher. Okay, now he activated the zone. We're down to five little flowers. And you can see that our flowers is different from the flowers we spawn. So there's actually really no synergy, except for the fact that when they die, they do spawn the poison puddle. So that part is good with our passive. And we die. We're in the zone, so we take damage. We have one health, so we ticked. It's still good for Dao points though. So we'll do these fights whenever we can. Introducing us to different friends. <gasps> Our friend got killed. That's a first. Ooh, Dao Ho Xi. Same, no, different tier, higher tier than us. Well, this friend is a male, so. Okay, we don't care about those spawns because we already maxed. Right. So as I was saying, um, moving forward, I'm just going to be farming more of the zones, especially the white and purple one and white and black one. Just get more of those stones, get more souls, sell those for cash so that we can be prepared for the auction. Um, next episode, when we come back, we'll be at the auction. I think I will grind out the next eight months. And uh, when we're prepared, we'll come back go to the auction house, buy our material, continue the storyline, and then go visit the funeral, because I think they've been waiting for a while too. Uh, they gave me the letter quite a while back ago, the funerals being held up by us, the esteemed guest. Um, but yeah, that's where the situation stands, and eventually we'll save a couple of the soul stones, or we'll, you know, target a few that's going to be useful for us. Uh, we're looking to get a better alt, we're looking to get better movement, and uh, obviously if we can get passive, it'd be really good. And you can see the result of us dual meditating so much is 51 points. It's actually quite impressive. Uh, but yeah, that's where things stand for us. Hope you guys enjoyed this and see you guys next time. Bye.